you become um, so absorbed and obsessed with trying to find sexual conquest and trying to find you know um, new partners or this relationship and it, it just takes over your life and you avoid responsibility for your life you avoid your purpose and destiny in your career you know you 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 end up neglecting your health because the thing is sex addicts are attracted to emotionally unstable people and relationships because like i said earlier they they're not they, they don't want to fully invest because they're too scared to and if they don't fully invest they can go around and sleep with and do whatever they want so this see what i mean it's a lot more complicated than than what you think it is and you know you know a lot of sex addicts um they could have worked in the sex industry um you know on the other end of the scale they could be people who use um you know you know they they pay for sex or use sex workers regularly uh, people can be addicted to porn um you know there's there's lots of ways it can manifest um but people can be you can also have uh, romantic obsessions with people you know these can be people who you've met they can be people who you haven't met you know um you know the it, it can manifest in lots of different ways so you know it's it's a really really tough thing to 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 live with you know um people with with sex addiction they they just don't have many healthy boundaries you know they will stay in a relationship even if it's it's the worst thing ever just be, just for that little bit of love that they get um and like i say they're generally attracted to other addicts as well um yeah and they they become sexually involved with people without really knowing them so like like a sex addict can go to a party and not even know the people who they're sleeping with for example they could meet meet and have sex with strangers um they could put their sexual health at risk you know they could put their children at risk you know they, they just they they're, they're willing to put important parts of their life at risk just to get sex and love so an example is you know jumping from one relationship to the next having to be in one without a break in between um you know if you feel like you have to have it or you have to be with someone or just you you notice that you, your life has just gone from one relationship to another that's that you know that you, you could be a sex addict i would do the questionnaire you know if you're unsure even things like people can create a whole life around sex addiction like they 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 will create jo you know careers that help them to be able to attract like men or women or whatever um like me for example like i when i was younger like i worked as a um like a glamour model um a lap dancer all the all these jobs that i didn't really want to do um and they were all to attract men, you know. Um, I mean, I, I love to write. Um, you know, I'm a trained psychotherapist as well. Um, you know, I love love doing healing work. You know, I work as a, as, as a healer. These are the things that are, that are really me, you know. But that person was, was the addict in me, you know, creating those... That persona so that I could attract conquests and men basically and these sexual experiences you know so you know it it, it takes over your life completely um, and you know because you know sex addicts fear being abandoned and fear loneliness so much they, 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 they fear being alone and abandoned so much that they will return to 
a toxic relationship just over and over again. Um, because that's just, you know, what they do. It's just, it's just, that's how the the disease and I, and I do believe that addiction is a disease it's the reason I think that is because if you don't manage it and we'll go into that soon and how how you can manage it if you don't manage it you will it will come back you know it it, it will come back like you have to manage it and that's why I think it's a disease because and this is why there's so many of these groups like NA um, and AA and all those kind of groups that help people because, you know, it has to be managed. I do believe that. And there, is lot, there are lots of things you can do and you should do them because otherwise your life will just feel like you're going round and round in circles attracting the same kind of people every time. Toxic people, people who treat you badly. You know, people who, um, you know, are just just not able to, to give you what you want. And the thing is, those kind of relationships will take so much energy from you that you will not have the energy to go after what you're really meant to do in this life. And it's so important for you to achieve what it is that you're here to achieve. That is so important. So you have to deal with this. It's so important to do that. And yeah, it's 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 really not not easy. It, it's not an easy journey at all because all these feelings that you have inside that, that you've been masking with sex for such a long time and love and all this up and downness of life, you know, that that you that you, you think is normal it's not and eventually it will affect your health and you'll start to get anxiety and depression and it'll start to affect your mental health and the thing is you, you know you're here for a purpose and you have something to do and you've got to it's your responsibility to do that you can't change the childhood you've had if anything that will make you a stronger person if you choose to do that but it does take work because when we're young we're so impressionable at that important age there's a time period called the imprint period where you know um, you just basically a sponge and you just absorb in everything in your environment and that's there's all these unconscious messages being given to you by your parents and if they weren't capable of giving you that love because they were you know they had their own problems you know that's you know that's there and that's how you've ended up in that but that's no excuse to not deal with it because you have to because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to yeah you you, you will never be happy until you sort it properly because you, your life will just constantly feel like it's on repeat and the thing is whether you believe in God or not life or God, whatever you want to call it, will bring you that experience over and over and over again until you, you learn from it. So save yourself the hassle and just deal with it now. Because if you do that, you know, you can have the life you want. And it's not easy, it's not easy doing what you want. It's easier to carry on just going in this vicious cycle of going with someone who, you know, treats you badly, going backwards and forwards and just, you know, feeling worse and worse and worse about yourself. It, and then just never ever achieving the things that you want. How long are you going to put your life on hold? You know, for this person who you think is going to change or you're going to save or it's not going to happen like and the thing is you will probably be with an addict yourself if you are an addict and they'll have the problems and you're staying with them because they need you and no you've got to sort yourself first and when you do you'll think a lot differently like you'll realize that you deserve better because and the thing is you will attract different people as a result. You will. 
So yeah, so they're, they're kind of the main characteristics. Sorry, I'm just looking at my notes. Um, there are many others. I mean, I will make a separate video on just the characteristics of, of sex and love addiction and I'll write those down, what they are, and we can talk about, uh, well, I can talk about those. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I don't, I think I've, I think I've talked about everything, the characteristics. Um, but yeah, at the core of, of sex addiction is, it, it's, it's, a fear of not being good enough, you know, the, the feelings of rejection that you're masking and, you know, you, you'll just keep returning to these toxic relationships, put in, you know, and you'll just keep bouncing from one to another but eventually there's only so much a person can take emotionally and the thing is, if you're like dating emotionally unavailable people, you know, you, you will give all your energy to them people and they will suck the life out of you because that's what they do Ad other addicts find sex addicts because sex addicts are willing to, to, to put up with anything anything because that's just part of the illness so you know you'll never ever be happy in that kind of relationship ever so you have to do that work on yourself. That fly. Um, you have to do that work on yourself. You have to do it. It's only you that can do it. So, yeah. So that's the main thing. So yeah, you can become addicted to physical sex, porn, toxic relationships, and the thing is, what I, what I have to mention as well is that all addictions get worse. So you must understand this. Like. They, they, they always get worse. It's not going to go away on its own. It's not. So don't just think that one day you're going to meet Mr. Right or Mrs. Right or whatever. And it's all going to be fine. And they're going to heal you and you're going to heal them. No, it's, no, it just doesn't work like that. Like, two broken people don't work. They don't. In fairy tales, maybe. That's not real life. Real life is you you heal yourself as best you can. You continue to work on yourself all the time. You feel good about yourself and then you attract to someone else who, you know. You can see things more clearly as well when, 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 you've, when, you, when you work on yourself. And the thing is we're never finished. So never ever think I'm finished. Like I, I don't need to do any more work. Because you do and you should continue to do that. It's, that's called evolution we should keep growing changing and becoming better and better all the time so yeah so yeah you so eventually like all addictions you, your your life will suffer uh, your career your family your mental health and eventually um because of you know how it's affecting and like your life in all these ways you know you'll be you know you, you could like for me for example you know i was I was more interested in, in who I was going to sleep with next or who I was in a relationship with next or just obsessing over something and getting really upset because I wasn't getting what I wanted from this emotionally unavailable person. That I wasn't even looking after my son properly, you know. And I had this beautiful boy in front of me and I was like, I've got to do something about this. And, and you have because otherwise, you know... It's just going to carry on for generations and, and stuff. So it, you have a responsibility to sort this. And if you can overcome this, you can you can overcome anything. And the thing is, once you overcome this, because it, it will be a huge problem for you, because it is, because I've been through it, I know, it will give you the strength to go for what you want in your career and stuff like that. And that's what you need. Like, you, you need to do that. You do. We all have a purpose whatever that purpose is you you, ha you have to do it and while you're an addict you can't do that so we're just going to move on to how now the good bit the exciting bit of how uh, you can change so two minutes <laughs> 